connection is disconnecting from the source within. There were parts of my core, senseless and frozen. Wisdom hit the rock top in my soul. Oh, now it's, it's the time to realize. Reconnecting my foundation, reunite. Oh, I'm digging, got my feet on solid Blowdown adventure. Um, okay, it's just 2:35 at the moment. There you can see. And um, yeah, I'm on. I'm finally on my way to Witsun. I've been talking about the Witsun episode for months now, and uh, the weather has given us that little gap that we've been looking for. So yeah, I'm heading off to Witsun now. I'm going to meet up with my uncle. Uh, we're going to be fishing for that monster cop so if um, you haven't subscribed please 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 subscribe you guys are putting amazing work with the comments the likes and the subscriptions um, and still for this month you can still order your hoodie um, to get your hoodie order in uh, the blue one and the green one and we do have it in all sizes we've got a couple of orders <laughs> quite a lot of orders already um, they are 500 rand each so make sure that you get your order in I don't know when I'm gonna order again so if you missed this opportunity it's gonna be a while before I order again okay so in this episode going for bait uh, we're gonna do chocker baits we go and do octopus leg and then also gonna do live baits my uncle has already collected live bait uh, yesterday afternoon and he's keeping it alive um, we'll show you the little pump that he uses and then we'll show you all the hooks and rigs and everything that we use we are aiming for a cop bigger than let's say 30 kilograms um, there has been a couple of reports of uh, the 20 kilogram cops coming out but we're aiming for that 30 40 kilogram cop that's the one that we're aiming for so um, hopefully I can show you one of those cops um, but the shark has also been very, very, very busy at Vitsan the last couple of days. So I hope that the shark don't take my one and only chance to get that cop. But I hope, I hope I've got around about a two hour drive. Uh, but I really, really hope that we can get that elusive cop that I've been looking for the last couple of months. Hey guys, so it's just after five now. And I'm just driving into uh, Vitsan. Oh, and there's the boats going down. To the slip already. So there's a couple of guys that's got the same idea. It's a beautiful morning. Just look at that sunrise. Got there. Absolutely beautiful morning. Um, wind seemed to have calmed down. This was not a nice drive. It was rain and wind all the way here and I thought to myself, oh my heck, what did I get myself into driving all the way to Vitsand again? And it's going to be Vincent, uh, not Vitsand, but Luckily, um, yeah, the weather looks perfectly fine here in Bitsan and it's got a beautiful morning, calm winds. The boat we're going to be fishing off is a Flamingo 180 with two Yamaha 52 strokes. Absolutely um, gem of a boat. Uh, yeah, the boat still looks brand new even though the boat is awesome. I thought this, but I think the boat is probably about 15, 20 years old. But yeah, it's absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful boat. Um, we're going to be launching from the Kralki. Um, and then we're going to be heading, I'll, I'll tell you more or less the, the areas that we're, we're fishing. But um, yeah, hopefully I can show you a fish.
Okay guys, so we're finally on the water. Look at that sunrise. Absolutely beautiful sunrise. But sun kralki. And then as you can see there's a couple of boats out already. And there's a couple more coming down. Absolutely beautiful. Can't wait to get on the water now and catch my big 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 cop. Okay guys, so uh, the water is just turned, it's, uh, it's on the outgoing side now, so we'll, um, we'll ask the expert now, where, where, why, when, what, but yeah, um, I see the charters are also out, I see salt fishing is in front of us, um, I'm going to say I to him quickly, but um, yeah, we're going for the monster cop today, and um, Fishing the outgoing tide first, and then later we'll start push fishing the, the incoming tide. So outgoing tide, um, certain spots that you fish outgoing tide, and on the pushing tide, certain spots that you fish. It is two days before spring tide, so it's a very good time to fish as well. So what we're looking for at the moment is we're looking for that deep channel so we're echoing all the way so we started on the edge then we echoed in um, so it was five meters five meters four meters four meters four meters four meters and then it comes up to three meters so then we want to go back into that little channel and uh, the channel is very close to the side here so that's why we are echoing just figuring out like i told you in the previous videos when we're fishing nice now you're looking for that channel the fish are in the channel most of the times especially cop they won't come on onto the banks they will stay in the channels um so yeah we're just echoing quickly to find exactly that that channel that that we want and um yeah it's not necessary to to fish certain spots if you if you know the spots yes you can but otherwise it's always good to find new spots and if you understand the structure that the fish like then it's a lot easier to fish or, or find new spots even if you're going to a new estuary because some of the the, the guys like Quinton, he knows all the estuaries. He knows nice now, he knows Plet, he knows Witsand um, yeah, he knows all the estuaries, but it's difficult to find all the all the different spots. Um, so yeah, we found a little spot there. You can see there's there's the bank that I was talking about. There's the bank, and there's the there's the channel. So we're lying in the channel now. So we went search for the in search of the channel there. We came onto the bank, we turned around, now we're in the channel again. So that's why we, we anchoring right here um, and we're pretty far up pretty high up the, the estuary at the moment so as you can see we're far, we're far away we're from now um, and the water is brown very very brown but that's what you're looking for that's why the fish are feeding in during the day if the water was blue and crystal clear they were only feeding in at night like in Nizam fish are more active at night time but because this is nice and brown water the fish is a little bit more active um, during the day so uh, yeah we're gonna start fishing now. We're gonna bait up. We've got Choka, um, live bait, and um, octopus leg that we're gonna be fishing with. Okay, guys, so we're fishing with live is here. That's, that's a big one. I'm looking for nice medium size because we just had a report that there is a couple of um, younger fish around. Okay, so tip get yourself one of those little nets. I'm gonna show you. Oh, we hook that one now. Um, this is oops, this is the, the method that I saw from uh, Arnold Tauter in 
uh, the outdoor man go check go check, check it out on youtube guys uh six seven oh circle look just behind that little fin there oh. make sure to get enough meat so it doesn't tear out oh look at that hey top up up okay so that's how i gonna look hook that live up So there's a small um, octopus. The head was cut off. Now it's been cut into two pieces. Then uh, you can have a 8 -o to a 10 circle look. Just like that. Okay. So, I'm going to show you on the second one. Hey, break. Hey, break. Hey, break. Ik de mulletje dat hier is spookgaar en ik draai me goed is. Gaat hij nou beter? Ik moet even nou gaan. Is je lust voor koffie? Ja, het gaat nou koffie drinken. Hij lijkt hier. Ja, zeg. Oké, guys, so all I did now is uh, I just made that little bundle. And now that allows me. Put the hook through a nice part of that bait. There we go. See that? So I'm looking for for a nice big piece of the bait, but I'm also looking for that hook to still sit proud. Okay, and that's going to be movement in the water on that little octopus. And that is why we come to bed. A nice cup of coffee, six rods in the water. What a beautiful day. Oh, now the only thing we need is a screaming wheel. Now we're gonna have some nice rusks and coffee and wait for the fish to bite. Patata! Finally, we got something on. Ah, but we've got finally we got a fish on. Okay, um under the Okay, there we go. Oh. Okay, we finally got a fish on. Um, that was on a live bait. Ooh, I thought this one's gonna go off now as well. Um, ice, ice. Uh, is it under the Yeah, it's under the Rhinoc. There we go, underneath that one as well. Okay, it's coming in. Um, then come and take it on my drone in light to sit. Not so great, Fussy. That was a fish on the live bait. Just gonna check. Hey, 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 some nice head shakes there. Let's see uh, if we can see some color. Yeah, you see some ah, a little cobby. A little cobby. Oh, but there's another one going off. <laughs> there's a little cobby. <laughs> uh, there's a little cobby. Nice, a little cobby. Okay, very nice eating size cobby. Oh, there we go. Okay, so uh, we'll measure that one. <laughs> Uh, we'll measure that one now and see if needs to be the dusky cop. It needs to be 60 centimeters in the estuary. So we'll measure it now and see if it is 60 centimeters. And uh, if it is, then we'll keep it for the pan. Very nice size eating fish. Okay, that was on the live bait. So, um, yeah, obviously the fish is still on the bait. It's still on the outgoing tide. So obviously there is just a couple of fish in the water. So, um, yeah, there's one. There's one fishy. Home so up for a shot out. Small smallish fishy, but uh, at least we've got something. Okay guys, um okay, so I'm just quickly putting in a fresh octopus leg and I decided I'll show you what I do. So it's actually two legs. It's two legs. And now all I'm doing is tying the two legs at the top part together. So this is another trick that I saw on the outdoor man. 
um, Arnold Tauter, go check out his YouTube channel, um, him and Johnny. Um, so yeah, you tie the top part of the two octopus lead together, and uh, then you just end it off. And um, that actually stops the water from going in. Sometimes you'll see your, your octopus leg will blow up a little bit. And then that uh, creates a, a very hot spot for your, for your, um, what would you go through. And you can see it's nice. I can pull that really hard and it'll stick in there. And then your hook is nice and proud. You've got two octopus leg there. And uh, this is for bigger one. So yeah, that's how we're gonna fish. I'm gonna put this bait in now. We've got uh, livey and Joka and then the octopus. Unfortunately, we did not manage to catch our big cop today, but we still have tomorrow to catch that big cop. Um, we are quickly going to take out the big boat and we're going to take um, the rubber duck. And then we're going to try and get live bait and octopus for tomorrow. And then tomorrow morning, early, 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 we're going to be back on the water. So, yeah, we uh, watch the episode further if you want to see how we jump for live bait and how we cast the cast net for live bait and how we keep them live i'll put in a couple of tips um, when we do that for the live bait so yeah we're gonna go out now and then uh, we're gonna go and fetch a rubber duck okay guys back to the crawl kick again stage two uh, now we're going for live bait we're taking the small rubber duck now this is a mercury 30 with the infanta um, it used to be in Fanta, but it was redone by Falcon uh, 4.2 of a duck. So yeah, we're gonna get head over and uh, jump for live bait, and I'll show you everything that we do there. Jumping for live bait and getting everything done. So yeah, we're gonna get everything ready, and uh, see you on the other side. <laughs> Wat ek achter? Wat? Ek weet, ja, 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 ja. Wat is ook weer te kom? Ek wil op die klip kom. Maar soos die klompie mooi is. Daar diep is die klompie mooi is. Ah, ah. Daar diep is die klompie mooi is. Ach, flippat. Ja. Ja man. Dat is te kort. Hmm. Oh, je niet. Je kan terug gaan. Dat is een easy mission. We got our last bite. We in the bucket. There's plenty, plenty. So we actually got we allowed 50 per license, and we have two licenses, so we were allowed 100. But we got some for um, my other friend, Johannes van Graan. We also got some for him. So yeah, now we're heading back. He's, uh, <laughs> he's actually too many in a bucket. We only have two buckets. So he's taking two buckets. And um, yeah, so we're gonna put those in the water for the night. And then we're gonna use them tomorrow.
not half past two in the morning this time. It's just four o'clock in the morning this time. But yeah, we're getting the boat ready. Um, something you don't know about wet sand is that you're not allowed to fish during the night. That's why we didn't stay on the boat last night, um, like we did normal, like we do, normally do at night now. But um, yeah, we got the live bait yesterday afternoon, and so we're only allowed to fish from five o'clock in the morning till half past eight in the evening. So we are back for round two this morning um, to try and find my big cop. So yesterday, Johannes and Gran caught a couple of cops early, early morning, just after five, when you're allowed to fish. Um, so we want to be on our spot at five o'clock when we're allowed to put the lines in the water. So that's why another early morning for me. And I must say last night when I put my head on my pillow, it was out and this morning. When uh, the alarm went off, it felt like I was waking from another blood group. I was so tired, still tired. So I might just quickly climb in the cabin this morning after the lines are in. Um, I might just take a nap in the, in the cabin because I need to drive home this afternoon. Okay, but um, yeah, almost said in today's episode. But we're continuing with yesterday's episode um, to try and find that big cob. We've got fresh live bait and we've got two fresh octopus. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be fishing with live bait and octopus. Um, yesterday the, the fish was caught on us a little bit of a small livey, not those big livey, so we caught, we, we managed to get a loads of those small liveys. Um Yesterday we, those liveys were taken by a couple of shads, so um, today I'm going to be fishing with a Mustad 60 Demon Circle um, on a 21 kilogram leader line, uh, Maxima Green, you know I almost lose my Maxima Alto Green, I'm going to be fishing on that. Um, I'll show you how to rig up, but I used the Mustad Circle Demon for a specific reason. It's a very thin, very strong hook. So um, on those small liveys, the thin hook does help um, it to swim better because it's not a big bulky hook. I know uh, we're fishing for big cop and normally you'd say a 10 out for those big cop, but in the current, the current is very strong. It's springtide. The moon is somewhere. I don't know where the moon is now, but it's full moon. So it's spring tide, it's full moon, so the current is very strong. And when you're fishing in strong currents, you don't want to obstruct the, the life bed with anything. So, so we're going to be hooking them through the mouth so they can swim in the, in the upstream, not on the tail like we usually do because the current is too, too strong at the moment. Um, our lives are dying because um, they, they're swimming the wrong way around. And yeah, we use that light, the light, the thinnest hook that I could find is the mustard. The thinnest, strongest hook that I could find is the mustard circle demon. But I'll show you how you, we hook up once we're on the water. I'll show you how we hook up. So hopefully I can show you a, a bigger cob than the 60 centimeter one we caught yesterday. The sun is just about to come up. But you can see it's a lekker busy morning at the Prague. There's a couple of boats out, boats out already. And uh, yeah, we're going to get going now. six rods in again we've got four live baits um, like I said yesterday we're fishing with a live bait not like we hooked it yesterday I'll show you just now when we hook another livey we hook into the mouth because it's on spring tide and the, the current is very strong so um, we want to hook it um, to the mouth so the mouth can open up stays upstream stays the mouth stays open so we've got four live bait in and two octopus legs uh, fresh octopus leg and um, if you check the video, we didn't have get those mud um, live bait, the estuary live bait. We got it from the oceans. We've got those green live bait. And uh, yeah, little pump. Remember, we use this little pump. Um, and yeah, this, I'll show you the live bait. Yeah. Look at that, all of those liveys swimming. Okay, so we use that pump. That pump's available from Extreme Fishing. Um, if you're looking for one of those, um, they're 600 bucks and they do work. They're magic. 
love those bumps so go ask Quivy or Yuan they'll sort you out with one of those bumps um, lithium ion battery you can charge it or you can use it on a power bank so if it dies down you can always just plug a power bank in you know charge it with USB and okay so the tide just turned we just turned up with a with the tide so he's fishing the outgoing tide now and hopefully I can show you fish now okay guys sorry we just managed to catch that there's that six o circle look right in the corner of the mouth so we did manage to catch um, a little one just now we're gonna measure it and see if it is oh 56 centimeters unfortunately not size and uh, goes back very quickly but uh, I wanted to <laughs> I actually wanted to start the video but um, as soon as I picked up the rod I realized that uh, it wasn't a, a very big fish and the fight was 30 40 seconds it wasn't a big fight so yeah but um, the fish are on the bite so let's get the lines in again okay guys so, hey man. yes okay so <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I do is a circle up, put it in his mouth, top lip, but make sure that you get a piece of his nose, that hard piece. Make sure that you get one of those pieces. Okay, so now it will stay, his mouth can stay open and it can swim upstream because the current's pushing from this side. So his mouth will stay open. If you hook it like that over there, it's going to turn around. What's going to flow in his gills is going to die a lot quicker. Okay, so that's why we're fishing like this today. Okay, guys, on again, yeah. Um, another small cop. Seems this seems to be a lot of small cop. Um, again, on that little live bait that we're using. Uh, it? Yeah, so we're catching a couple of these smaller cops now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It shakes definitely a little cob. So this one is size. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking some line there. Might be a size one. Yeah, oh, this one seems a little bit. Hey, 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 hey. It seems a size. There one. we go. There we go. Nice size cobby. Okay, I'll show you now. But that circle looked doing the job in the corner of the mouth. Hey, that's a better size copy. There we go. Hey. Check. Okay, I'll show you now the circle look right there in the corner of the mouth. Um, there was some action with the octopus leg as well now. Had a nice run. It was off, but um, yeah, that was like five minutes, not even, after we caught the first one. And uh, so we need to get the blinds back in the water as quickly as possible. There you can see circle look 6-0 demon mustard right. Demon circle right in the corner of the mouth. Um, guys, I'm going to get bait back in the line. I think my octopus bait might be off. I'm going to get that live bait back in the water. Let's measure this one first quickly. Yeah. But uh, that's round about, that's round about, probably round about 70 centimeters. That's a very nice size eating cob. Okay, I'm going to get lines. Ish. Lines back in the water. Go, 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 pull it. Ooh, ooh. And then the other one goes. Fatum, fatum, fatum. And then the other one goes. Ooh, that looks like a better fish. Okay, this is a better fish we've got on here. Um, this is going to be fun and games now. Nice. Underneath that one. That's a better size fish we've got on. There we go. Oh, you can see if it swims like that, it's over. Yeah, it seems that it's over that line. Now we need to figure out if it's going over or under the other one. See, that happens. We were watching these two rods and all of a sudden the third one went. Under. Over. Under. It's under. Up. Okay, guys, once you hook a fish, um, you see what we did there. We try and fight the fish to the side, and so the guy can come with a net or the gaff, whichever you need. Um, he can come in behind. So the guy with the fish takes it upstream, and whoever's got the gaff or the um, for the net uh, come come from the from the bottom part. 
Oh, yeah, he's gonna go. Another one's gonna go off now. Yeah, it's me. It's it could be lying me. Um, yeah, huh? yeah. Hey, Tom. As a cop scut, she go. Oh, okay. Uh, where is it? Wait, now. Up. Good line. Oh. Here we go. Um, loose. Lines out. Line off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Once again, you can see that. Hey, Okay. Be careful, guys. Don't put your hand too deep into the gills here. Just there. There you can see that little circle loop doing the job again. Okay. Let's measure this one. 62 centimeters. So we are allowed to keep that one. Um, I don't know. Thank Okay, so that's our two legal size fish for the day. You're only allowed one per person. Um, so yeah, now we're fishing for fun. This is gonna be the end of the program. Now we're fishing for fun. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, something's, ch hey, something's chasing that livey. Oh, there's another one as well. Two rods next to each other, getting chases. Oh, there she goes, there she goes, there she goes. L line is tight, now it just needs to pull flat. Oh, it picks up, picks up, picks up, and oh, 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 just waiting for that flat, and there she goes. Oh, there she goes. Oh, there we go. Okay, on that circle, look, you see I didn't um, go very hard. I just picked up and picked up the tension. Okay, now I'm going to try and fight the fish. It feels like a nice fish. Definitely another size one. Okay, so now I'm going to try and fight the fish, get it under all the lines. Yeah, I'm going to try and fight them under all the lines. There we go, it's fine now. Okay, I'm going to fight it under the lines here. Up, oh, there you go. Another on one of the liveys. See guys, we're just discussing it does pay to go and make and get the best bait. Yesterday we watched the one boat, put in the other boat to make sure that we get the best live bait. And uh, it's paying off. This is our fourth cop for the morning. Oh, oh nice fish, nice little cobby. Okay, this one unfortunately needs to go back because we have already got, got our uh, two for the day. So that one's gonna go back. We're quickly gonna sort that out and get him back in the water as quickly as possible. Yeah. Oi! On again! <laughs> On again! There we go! Lekker! Oh, it's loving so much fun. Cop number five on for the morning. Yeah, beautiful sunrise. We had some coffee and then we started putting in the live bait. Um, this one seems a little bit bigger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Let's see what we have here. Got the net here. Hey. Oh, wow, another beautiful silk copy. This one might be a little bit too small, but it's still a lot of fun catching them. Okay, let's look. Circle look in the corner of the mouth. Yeah, there we go. Circle look perfectly in the mouth. Okay, quickly gonna put this one back. Let's measure it. 58 centimeters. Okay, this one's going back. 
There she goes. Well done. Okay, quick release day. There we go. On again. Um, feels like a little bit better fish. Let's see if he goes on a run now. It's definitely a better fish. I will not see what the kant is. He is under the earth. I am with coffee. But I say, I have my coffee down here. There is my coffee here. I have not put my coffee down here. I have said I will now have two slips. But he has the line up. What is it? Here is the middle of the line. What is it? Ja, zien om een brandste lijn op 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 je altijd. Guys, the fish feels a little bit stronger, but it's mainly because the current has picked up. When we got here, it was on the turning tide, and now, oh hello hello, and now the tide is 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 probably in, on the outgoing tide. So the fish feels a little bit stronger because the current is stronger, but it is, it is, it is a nice fish. Definitely for size one. Okay, got Papa sailing now. Um, flakker hier wel een op mijn kop. Ja. Okay. Oh, it's picked up all the lines. Here we go. There we go. Luckily, not too big of a mess. Circle look in the corner of the mouth every single time. 6 0 mustard. Um, if you don't know what circle look to use, go and speak to your one and Kovi, they at Extreme Fishing, they'll help you out. Um, that one, uh, let's quickly measure it just, just to see the size of it. That one is 50, 56, 57 centimeters. Okay, so that one is going back. Oh, beautiful quick release. And it goes back to his mommy to suck on a titty again. No, what the hell? Ga nou hier aan. Ja, gaan ons vriespoel. Is it now? Is it now? Is it now? Guys, I just put that live bait in. All right. The brandy is really good. Flicker is really good on my head. Yeah. Okay, I just put that live bait in. Let's put the other camera on as well. The fish feels a lot stronger because we're fighting them and the current at the moment. Oh, this other one's gonna go off now. Oh, Marius, I'm gonna have to fight. Here, middle stock for me. I'm gonna have middle stock for me. I'm gonna fight. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. There she goes. On, 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 and on. It's a young copy again. Feels like a young fish. Nee, ik moet denk ik die twee stokken uit mekaar nou hier. Denk ik die twee stokken uit mekaar. Hier die twee. Nee, hier die vis nou hier lijn opgeteld weer. Ja, that's what's happening. It's got. 
Uh, it can be a better fish, but it's difficult to say now with the current. Uh, I think this is never right. Oh, it looks like a little bit of a better fish. Just saw some color there. Yeah, it's a better fish. It's a better size fish. Oh, there we go. Beautiful little cobby. Oh. Hey, into the net she goes. Circle look in the corner of the mouth like every single time. Okay. Look at that circle look right in the corner of the mouth like it's supposed to do. But we've got more than enough of those, so that one is also going back. Look here, the bucket is still here, where I put the live bait in. I haven't even put the bucket back, and was fast. Okay. There she goes, there she goes, there she goes. Go, 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 go. she goes on again run with it man there we go that's what I want to see okay another one on oh there we go that's why it's woken up oh no it's the same size one just hanging in the current Just hanging in the current, making itself heavy. When it's a big fish, it will start going on another run now. But this one is not. Oh, same size. And maybe a little bit bigger. But it's just hanging out there in the current. So, uh, oh, this one could be a little bit bigger, but not a lot bigger, just a little bit bigger. Definitely head shakes. But it's still a lot of fun catching these fish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now it wants to go on a dive. Hey, there's a little dive. Oh, there you can see the fish, same size as all the others. And there you can see the live bait in his mouth. <laughs> there you can see the live bait in his mouth. Some life again. Um, so we just started to get some life again. I was just about to rig up again. And then on in the wind. Cop number nine. Copy number nine on the line. Okay. So um, yeah, still on the live bait. Um, octopus leg is still be quiet <laughs> let's see what's behind door number one oh a little undersized copy uh, okay so that's between eating our bait oh another line here we go undersized copy but it's still fun 
catching them. Um, yeah, so there's been a couple of pools just now. So it's the same so size of fish or a little bit smaller that we were catching this morning. Oh, there we go. Oh, beautiful little cobby. And that is the dusky cob. Beautiful. Going back to fight another day. Okay, I'm gonna continue rigging up. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. How did that one not take it? It's off. No, man. Oh, it's on, it's on, it's on, it's on, it's on. No, it's off. What's going on here? Uh -huh. It's swimming in. No, it's off. Ah. On the bite. Get it in quickly. Get him off the hook so I don't get a 
another one in there. Okay, that's number 12. Kobe number 12. So this is going to be the end of this episode now. We are going to take the boat out, clean the two fish that we kept and wash the boat and then I'm going to head back to George. Um, and then the next episode, I think I'm going to try and show you how to fish Grunter with clip fish. Yes, clip fish. Um, I wanted to go nice now, but the guy said nice now. Queenie was nice now. I said wasn't much happening so I think I'm gonna go claim Brack maybe and uh, take Luca my youngest he's four years old and I'm gonna take him on a fishing adventure he's been asking me for a couple of, of uh, weeks now to take him fishing so I'm gonna take him fishing uh, maybe the boat or kayak um, I'll see but uh, this is gonna be it's gonna happen somewhere in the week okay guys thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe leave a comment and leave a like you guys are awesome uh, see you in the next episode